Good evening, folk. Dr. Greg Hibbins here from Ambassador Bible Church in the United Kingdom. And we are on our final devotion for Steps to Deliverance. At the beginning of this devotion, it was just really to give everybody an overview scripturally of what the Bible said about demon possession and demon oppression. How do you go about deliverance? How to identify if somebody is demon possessed and demon oppressed? <coughs> Excuse me. And also to just reiterate the fact that a genuine born again believer cannot be demon possessed, but they can be oppressed. And we, we also looked at the, the whole issue of the fact that you can cast out a demon, but until that person becomes born again and repents of their sin and accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, those demons are going to just keep coming back again. So we've touched on all of that. So we come into our final devotion now. And I'd like to read to you um, two passages of scripture. First we find in Matthew 28 and verse 18. And Jesus came up and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always to the end of the age. And there we see Jesus says, I have the authority. He tells us to go and he says, you're not alone. I'm going to be with you until the end of the age. And then across to, to Mark. Let me just get it here quickly. Mark 16. I didn't have it. Mark changed my Bible, but my, there we go. Mark 16, and picking up from verse 15, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. He who has believed and has been baptized shall be saved, and he who has disbelieved shall be condemned. These signs will accompany those who have believed. In my name they will cast out demons. And as we come to this final devotion on, on um, steps to deliverance, I just want to hit on the, the whole subject. So many people think that you need to have some sort of spiritual gift to cast out demons, that only pastors can do it, only people who've had hands laid on them, only people who have a special gift of deliverance. And quite frankly, to put it bluntly, that's a load of rubbish. Any born-again believer who has a genuine relationship with Jesus Christ, who is living a life before the Lord, who has asked the Lord to forgive all of their sins, who is not carrying hidden and secret sin in their life, will be able to step into any situation where there's demon possession and in the name of Jesus Christ cast out that demon. And they need to realize that as they step into that situation, they have the authority of Jesus Christ. Don't get into dialogue with the demon. Don't let it cause nonsense to try and throw the person on the floor or do all sorts of funny things. Just take the authority that is yours in Jesus Christ and take a stand and say in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of his shed blood and his finished work on the cross and his resurrection and the promise of his coming again I command you in Jesus' name to leave now. And let me tell you, if the demon will have no choice but to leave. Because you are walking in the authority of Jesus Christ. Every single born-again believer has that authority in Jesus Christ. You don't need a special impartation. You don't need a special laying on of hands. You don't need to run to a pastor or an ordained minister or a priest or a clergy. None of those things are necessary if you are a born-again believer who is living a surrendered life to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is on a daily basis bringing your sins before the Lord and asking Him to wash you and repenting of those sins and being cleansed and then walking out in the confidence of what the Bible teaches, that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us. Providing you're not hiding secret sin, you can walk into that situation 
with all the authority. Remember, God the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And when we are walking in that way, the Holy Spirit powers us to be able to take the authority that is ours in Jesus Christ. Not our authority, but it's His authority that's been conferred to us. And when you understand that, you will be able to walk into a situation where somebody is demon-possessed and in the name of Jesus Christ set them free. And it's all about authority. It's all about understanding who you are in Christ and who Christ is. And folk, I just want to tell you, I remember as a young soldier, I was much younger than some of my contemporaries. And I got called into the major's office and our stick bleeder had gone down with a, with a bleeding ulcer and they had casavacked him out. And the major turned to me, I was the youngest soldier there. And he called me in and he said, I have decided that you are going to take over the leadership of that particular stick. And I said to him, sir, but I'm the youngest one there. There were guys who were five, six, seven years older than me. You had a lot more experience than me. But he looked and he said, I believe you are the right person. And he pushed those stripes across the desk, the, the, the stripes of your, your rank. He pushed them across the desk to me. And he said, remember, behind those stripes, and therefore behind you, stand the full authority of the supreme commander of combined operations. In other words, he's saying, when I give an order... The soldiers are expected to obey it, not because it's me, but because of who I represent. I represent the supreme commander of the army. And when we understand that, you may feel weak, you may feel inadequate. That's all right. But it's who you are in Christ that makes you different. That you can step forward into those situations in the power of the living God, in the authority of Jesus Christ, and take control and command those demons to leave. And there are so many people who are just so scared. Do not let fear rule and reign in your life. Understand who you are in Christ, because that liberates you. To be available for who God wants you to be and to do what God wants you to be. Therefore, as we finish off the short series, and that's what it was all about. Because I was just inundated with emails and calls and messages about people saying, we need help to cast out demons. And in messaging some of them and emailing some of them, they say, well, I'm a born again believer, but I need somebody else to do the job. End of the day, God expects you to do the job. He didn't say there, go out and find a pastor or find some prophet or find somebody who claims to have a special impartation or a special gifting in this area. He said, when you go out in his authority, you will have the power to cast out demons. That's you. Even if you're a normal, garden variety, born-again believer, if you are living in submission to Jesus Christ and in the power of His Word, you have the authority, the full authority of the kingdom behind you to take authority over that demonic spirit. Just a word of caution. Don't say, you know, in my authority. Make sure that you're very clear. That this is the authority of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave. And they have no choice but to leave. And then you need to challenge the person who has been demon possessed. And be very frank and open with them and say, you have a choice right now. God has set you free. But he's also made a way for you to experience an even greater freedom. And that is the freedom from sin. 
He has made a way for you to experience eternity with Him. But the Bible says you need to come, you need to confess your sins, you need to accept Him in faith as your Lord and your Savior. And if the person's prepared to do that and they're genuine, you lead them to Christ. You pray the sinner's prayer with them. If they don't, the next time the phone rings a week or ten days later and the family are saying, Oh, please come, please come, the demons have come back. Tell them, well, the demons are going to keep coming back. We touched on that in a previous devotion. Until that person becomes born again. You can light all the candles. You can have all the sort of religious accoutrements around to try and ward off the the demonic spirits. They are of absolutely no use whatsoever. The demons only recognize the authority of Jesus Christ. Because they know that they are a defeated foe. And if you are in Christ, you have that authority. And you can step forward and set those people free. So that I, I close off this series of devotions with that challenge. Rise up to be who you were meant to be in Jesus Christ. Stop cringing in the bottom of the trenches. Stop looking around for somebody else to do what God has called you to do. Rise up. Like Joshua, rise up. Step forward and take authority and conquer the land. If somebody is is in, in the depths of demon possession and you know that you're in Christ, that you're a genuine born again believer, that you're living a life that is clean before God, that you've confessed your sins before Him, you've been washed in His blood, you're walking in obedience to Him, you walk in with confidence and say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. And they have to go. So that's the challenge. Rise up, Christian. Take your inheritance. Be obedient to the command of Jesus Christ. And you will see the demons flee from you. Bless you all. Let's pray. Father God, I just praise and thank you that in you, we have the authority. Lord, in Revelation, you remind us that thou overcame him, the evil one, by the power of your shed blood, by the word of their testimony, and that they loved not their life until death. And Lord, we know through your blood, we have the authority to step forward and proclaim In your name, those demonic forces to flee. We just give you glory for that, King Jesus. Help us as Christians to rise up and not be afraid, but to stand firm and strong for the glory of God. Pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next time I see you for devotions, we'll be going back to the the series I was doing before, before we broke away to deal with these steps to deliverance. And that's going to be looking at key verses that I've learned through 40 years of ministry and the lessons that have come out of that and really blessed my life and hopefully will bless yours as well. God bless. Have a good evening.